Now, when the Twin Towers collapsed on 9-11, many artists working in studios near Ground Zero witnessed that horrific attack, processing the tragedy and its aftermath through their work. And as the nation remembers the terror attack 15 years later, many of those artists have joined forces to display their work for the first time. Kenneth Craig has more. I came up here uh, shortly after the first attack. and yes. This is where artist Todd Stone watched the Twin Towers collapse on the roof of his studio just blocks from ground zero. My wife, who was with me on the roof, said, your, your job is to witness. You're an artist. Your job is to paint. Did you struggle with that at all? No, I accepted that. He photographed, sketched, and painted the day's events. The watercolor paintings eventually became a series he calls Witness. Dust from the towers blanketed his studio. He rubbed the debris into his art. It allowed me to have a physical connection to the loss that was suffered here by putting my hands in that dust and uh, rubbing it into the paper. Artist E.J. Weiss also witnessed the attacks and channeled his pain through his paintbrush. I know a lot of artists who saw that had those images registered. You couldn't get them out, especially the brilliance of the day, the blue sky and the intense smoke and flame. Now for the 15th anniversary, Weiss, Stone and 11 other New York City artists who share a unique perspective are showing their work at the National September 11th Memorial and Museum. Both artists say painting was the only thing that helped them move forward, but Stone has only painted 9-11 related work since the attacks. I heard you say at one point you never make art to feel good. Yeah, you try and do it to avoid feeling bad, and, th and that was it for me. He now paints from his studio on the 67th floor of one of the new World Trade Center buildings, bearing witness to the destruction of Lower Manhattan and its rebirth. Kenneth Craig, CBS News, New York.